Hey folks, welcome to another episode of Adventures in Dog Training with American Standard Dog Training and American Overwatch Canine Services. So in this awesome episode, you are going to be seeing us take out a handful of German Shepherds of various ages, different colors, different stages of training, and we're going to answer for you the question you've been wondering, is the German Shepherd right for you and your family? So make sure to stay tuned so you can find out more about the breed, the pros, the cons, um, and everything else you may want to know that we can help you with. So make sure to stay tuned. <music> So this will be the first dog we're going to show you. This is Drogo, two-year-old German Shepherd. Bit of a show line, maybe a touch of working line in there, and we'll kind of discuss that as we show you the different dogs. Um, he is probably 85 pounds. He's a really nice sized male, and he's got nice coloring. You know, he came to us for a board and train program. He just finished as of today. He's going home, so he's well behaved now, but prior to that, he was very defensive, very leash reactive. Uh, there's a younger couple um, that had him. Uh, they're the owners, and he basically thought he was the big dog, the alpha, which it's not a, just a German Shepherd thing, but you know, they're very protective. And so he filled in that role of bodyguard and kind of did it too good, so much so that they couldn't really walk him anywhere without him being really leash reactive, lunging, barking, hackles up towards other dogs and other people. Uh, that can happen with any breed, but German Shepherds, I would say are a little more prone to that. If you don't, um, if you're not a little harder on them, and give them that obedience and let them know right from wrong from the beginning. They just have much more of that defensive streak in them uh, than most dogs. Say, like a golden retriever, doesn't typically want to lunge and bark at other people. German Shepherds, you'll see that a lot more. So yes, they make great home protectors, um, great family dogs. And we'll just show you a little bit more his size. Drogo, come here. I'm a 5'9", 5'10", 230 pounds. So I'm trying to give you an idea what he looks like. When he came, he was probably about almost 90, 95 pounds, uh, but we got him at a nice weight now. He's got his hips back. This is something to notice too. These dogs do have sometimes skin conditions where they get hot spots. I would shave him down and get rid of all this long hair. You don't have to. Um, and we'll talk more about their coat later as we look at different dogs. But as you can see here, this is, he's got pretty traditional uh, coloring and his back, uh, just slopes down a little bit at the end here. Not too bad. Uh, there's other uh, lines where this is sloped way down. I'm not a super big fan of that. Um, it's more for like the show ring. Um, I like more working uh, breeds where they're like a flat back and large head. Uh, but he's got a pretty good sized head. And we'll show you these teeth real quick while we're here. Look at these chompers. Yeah, look at that. They're yeah, almost an inch long, that, uh, that canine. Yeah, about an inch. Welcome back. So this is Chance. He is a between four and five month old German Shepherd. Uh, he's pretty cool because he's got different colorings. Uh, we looked it up online and I guess you would call this what they call a black and cream colored German Shepherd because uh, he's got uh, a lot of tan in there. Really pretty dog. You don't see a lot of German Shepherds like this. He's just a handsome dog overall. Uh, he's kind of long and lanky right now just because of the age. But once he fills out, he's going to be a, a, a nice specimen, if you will. He's going to be a little stud. Um, he went through our puppy board and train program, so he's pretty well trained. Uh, we're just boarding him here. We haven't trained with him in mm, like a month or two, um, but the owners went away and we like to train any of the dogs, excuse me, we like to board any of the dogs that we have trained. Um, and so we'll kind of run you through his repertoire and talk a little bit about the, uh, the colors that German Shepherds could come in. And I'm reading right off the internet, you could too. That's how you found me. But there are 13. German Shepherd colors. You're learning with me because I never knew that. I only thought there was a few, but here's some of them, right? So we have the typical black and tan. You see that a lot. Um, then you have black and red. That'd be like Drogo, which you probably saw in the initial opening video. He's more of a black and red color, very pretty. Again, we're saying he's black and cream, but there's also one called black and silver, and I'm actually not sure if he's black and cream or black and silver, because um, he's really, really light. Um, then there's also one they're calling bicolor. Then there's all black. You don't see that a lot. Uh, we do have, I'd like to throw up a picture too. Uh, it's actually my, uh, my kid's um, godfather and uh, his dog that had passed away. Dog named Onyx, a police dog. Uh, really handsome dog, all black. Uh, then you also have all white shepherds. You'll see one of those in a minute. We have one here. That's Tony, my assistant uh, trainer. He has one named Royce. That's a really handsome dog too. 
Um, then there's one called a blue. It says one of the rarest variations. May cost up to five times as much. I've never seen a blue German Shepherd. Then there's an all gray German Shepherd. Actually kind of looks a little bit like him. Liver, which is like almost all orange looking almost completely. Uh, Panda, never seen that. And then Sable, Sable's my favorite. Uh, my old police dogs, Big Papa Thor, he was Sable. To me, that's, that's the most handsome color in a dog. You see that a lot in working line German Shepherds, the Sable color. So I think he's black and cream. Post in the comments below, maybe we're wrong, but um, I think we're right there. And uh, we're cooking a little bit today, but let's see what we can talk about when it comes to a four and five month old German Shepherd. He is a super sweet dog, lots of energy, and this dog loves nothing more than to play with other dogs, as do most puppies. Um, but very smart, so we were able to train him early on. We got him at eight weeks old. If anything, when we started training him at eight weeks old, he was almost too young because he's what we would call sleepy, uh, not too much of a food drive, and barely aware of his surroundings. Like you could even throw a piece of food free and his eyes weren't even adjusted yet enough to find the food on the floor. So it's kind of like trying to teach uh, an infant baby, I don't know, ABCs or how to walk. They're just barely awake. I would say at four or five months old, actually when we finished with him, he's only three and a half months old and we would call fully trained, off leash. So yes, they can be trained that quickly, uh, but just about any other dog can be trained that quickly too. I'd say German Shepherds, my opinion, Easily one of the top, definitely top 10 breeds as far as intelligence, possibly top five, even top three. I'm super biased though. I grew up with them, so I almost feel like I speak German Shepherd, as stupid as that sounds. Meaning I, I just, I can read them really well and um, I'm, I'm able to train them pretty easy, maybe just from growing up with them, but I can read them well. Um, I find that uh, one of the smartest dogs I've ever met actually was a, a police dog that my father had named Falco. And I'm telling you right now, that dog could either, I don't know, could just read your emotions, you know? Unbelievably intelligent dog, like read your mind. It knew where you were at, knew what you wanted. Uh, very special dog, very special dog, that one there. Uh, really good police dog, he ended up dying of cancer. He got cancer of the bone up in his ribs. Kind of ugly way to die, but anyways, let's not make this a depressing video. <laughs> let's, uh, we'll pause the video here and bring crazy man chance out and show you what your your German Shepherd could be like after just a few months of training all right we'll be taking uh, mr. chance here for a off-leash walk and we'll show you how even your four month old German Shepherd at home should wait at all doorways all thresholds until you give them the go-ahead to go out because we got a, a road behind us he's not allowed to just do whatever he wants he's got to wait for us to give him the okay okay good boy so we like to use the okay word for like yellow light, proceed with caution. Oh boy, good. And he's doing good, we'll give him a little piece of hot dog. If you stay there, we'll kind of dance around you, show you what it looks like in the profile. Watch, good. I'll make him dance pretty. Stay. Good stay. That's me luring him with a little food. Again, he's out of practice. We haven't seen him in over a month or two, so he's still doing good. He's maybe not as sharp as he was the day we dropped him off. As to be expected. He's still doing pretty nice. And if you want, come in close and I'll show you something here. For anyone that, uh, we got a lot of haters out there, man. People that just can't, they just, they just wanna argue with everything. And so they say, oh, he's not four or five months old. Well, look, he's still got puppy teeth. Look, that's a puppy canine there. That's an adult tooth. There's a puppy canine, puppy canine. So he's right in between losing his teeth. Yeah, still got some puppy teeth in there. Relax, relax the man. Yep. I'd say he's about, let me pick him up. Let me tell you how big he is. I'd say he's about 40 pounds. Oh yeah, 35, 40 pounds. He's pretty hefty. Good oh, boy. Just a handsome dog. Uh, like I said, fully off leash, knows to come to his name, understands the e-collar. We can simulate that now. We'll let him do his thing. So he wants to pee or do some business and then we'll call him back. Now's the perfect time. Chance, come here. Good boy, yes. That's all you need. 
I need your dog to come to you. Here, heal. Do a little more healing. Oh boy. We'll call it like a competition heal, but not too bad. Let's see how he does on the sudden stop. If he misses it, I'm going to remind him. Yep, he missed it, so we'll clean it up. He's paying for it now on the e-collar. Come on. Good boy. Let's see if he gets it this time. Good boy. A little better. Why don't you stay there and we'll come back. Here, heel. It's not supposed to be a training video, but it is about the German Shepherd, and you are capable of training them pretty high level. Imagine if this is how good he is at four months where your dog could be at four years old. Yes. And again, stay. We haven't trained him in a good while. I keep coming back to that, but he was actually sharper when he was younger. Uh, but, you know, I didn't expect the owners to maintain his healing. You know what issues we've had with him though? Boys, boy dogs are always harder. Peeing and pooping in the crate, man. That, we had a real hard time with that with this one here. So he's gotten much better though. So but that's it. This is what your puppy could look like. Again, um, four to five month old German Shepherd. We'd say he's black and cream. Um, I am not a German Shepherd expert, though I, though I grew up with him my whole life. Let's take a look at his underbelly. Down. Uh -uh, bye -bye. Down. Oh, let me roll you over. Let, let him see your belly. What you got there? Good oh boy. He's just a cool dog. I think he's a real handsome dog and um, yeah, and he, you know where they got him from? Because people always ask, what, what was the breeder? You know what the breeder was? It was called BackyardBreeders.com. I'm kidding. Don't go there. I don't know. It's probably a porn site for all you know. <laughs> he, he was just, uh, look, one of his puppy teeth came out right there. See the, it's coming out or it came out? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, something's up there. Yeah, I think it's coming out right now. Yeah, he came from a farm. Just, just a bread in someone's backyard on a farm. And I think she got a, the owner got a lucky deal on this one. We could find. I don't know if she, she paid. Sorry, I keep adjusting my mic. Friend of hers, I don't know if she got it for free or paid 500 bucks or something for it. She didn't pay much for it. For him, this stud McMuffin here. So, do you forget your hand commands too, buddy? You can do it. He's just being lazy. Look, if I, if I entice him with some food. Oh, now he, now he remembers. Lazy boy. Yeah, it's hot out. It's really hot. It's got to be looking at the time but it's got to be 90 95 degree i feel like a swamp so that fly off you buddy all right so that's enough with mr chance i know these videos get long we got three more dogs to show you so stay tuned we'll bring out a couple different uh ages trainings colors you name it and we'll talk a little bit more about uh what you could expect size wise from a dog all right from a german shepherd so my guess for him would be Hey, good 80 pounds. He's just kind of, look like he's going to be a little more slender. Um, I'd say 80 pounds. I bet you stay skinny his whole life because he's just got like a high metabolism, you can tell. So, all right. We'll bring on another dog in just a minute. See you on the next one. Come on, buddy. Good boy. This is Gunny. He is uh, just shy of a year old. He's about two weeks into a board and train program with us. He is a wild animal. This one here, tons of energy. 